Willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge von Sam and Max Season 2. Okay, wir haben hier noch Satan und den Desoto. Da drin geht noch eine Party ab. Party hat Vorrang. Oh. Hey guys, you're just in time for the stripper. Ho ho ho, boy! I knew women were hard to find in our neighborhood, but I didn't think it was this bad. You people should be ashamed. It's a living. Okay. Habt ihr Spaß? Honest Abe, after all you and Sybil have been through, you got a stripper? Look, fellas, I'm marrying Sybil tomorrow. Today, I got needs, just like any other giant stone head. <laughs> Ooh, baby! Mr. Featherly. Oh, a Salmon Max. Uh, you, you better, you better not have a cow in there. <laughs> oh, I'll show you who's hiding a cow. Another celebrity meltdown. Shut up! You don't know my world. <laughs> uh. Bosco, we freed you from your personal hell. You don't have to be naked anymore. Oh, that wasn't part of my hell. I just like to be naked. And I'm not the only one who should be naked. Woo! Yeah. What are you doing here? You're not one of Lincoln's friends. I'm taking bets on which one of these amateur drinkers is gonna pass out first. You ought to be ashamed, Jimmy. That's just wrong. 50 bucks on the chicken! What? Hat er recht. Lose the oh, okay. torso! Woo! Flint, you of all people should see how wrong this is. Ah, take a powder, Chaplin. Take off your high hat and get a gander at the floor show. Mm. What's an unearthly horror like you doing in a place like this? I'm not a horror. I'm a dancer. Mm. These guys go through drinks fast. All right. Ja, scheint so. With a cryogenic freezer, the party never has to stop. Was da irgendwie dran? Na, ja, erstmal nicht. Vielleicht ein bisschen äh Ring Ring rein fühlen. Okay, ich glaube, Gerät haben wir jetzt mit allen, oder? Ja. You got it going on! Was mit dir so? The DeSoto seems different somehow. I think I'll just walk for now. Och, ich glaube, Dick, du bist mal relativ schnell unterwegs mittlerweile mit dem Ding. Hi, yes, Satan. How's it hanging, old scratch? The financial situation is quite dire, I'm afraid. I did wash your windshield for you. Oh, I, I uh, must have left my change in my other suit. Max? I'm naked. Yes. Well. Och, du Arme. We hope you're not still angry at us for getting you fired and everything. Angry? You destroyed my entire life and unleashed an unspeakable evil on the earth. All out of carelessness and a desire for personal gain. I invented that. I couldn't be more proud. How's the hunt for a new job going? A few nibbles, but nothing promising. I'm expecting a call from Rupert Murdoch next week. Any suggestions on how to stop the poppers? Oh, so we're stopping them now, are we? I just assumed, since you spent so much time helping them... Jeez, Satan, we said we were sorry. Or at least thought it real hard. Oh, very well. I began to lose power when people stopped taking me seriously. 
Too many comical football mascots and cartoon depictions on deviled ham. If you can ruin their plans, make them appear ineffectual, I'll be able to stage a corporate takeover. Okay. The poppers are stealing all of your material. Yes, and from my glory days at that. If they're successful with this first round, they'll be unstoppable. Wizard made me do it, just doesn't have the same ring. Das stimmt allerdings. We never expected that getting you fired would leave you with nothing. Yeah, after all these years, you should at least have a retirement fund. No, my golden parachute was just this cardboard box of all my possessions, I'm afraid. I feel somewhat foolish, considering the billions of insurance salesmen and investment bankers I've met over the centuries. <laughs> Can we get you a blanket or something? Might I trouble you to crash on your couch? It's just me in the box. Um, uh... We want to help you to help yourself. Yeah, can know. Stay strong, Satan. You'll make it through this. You're a survivor. Was haben wir denn da alles noch drin? Ich schau nur mal, ne? Can we borrow some of your stuff, Satan? Well, I suppose so. I was hoping to sell it on eBay, but I've received no bids. You know, your screen name, Father of Lies 666, might have something to do with that. Let's see here. One super long bar paperclip came. And the poppers said you weren't being productive. Snack sized bag of pork rinds. Great taste from the great deceiver. And one grocery list written on company letter. I know you're the source of all evil, but wasting office supplies for personal use, that's just wrong. <lacht> okay, das sieht doch mal gut aus. Wie sieht mit Sybil aus? Oh, baby, I'm gonna be loving you all night long. Max, what's her situation? Peepers is making the move on Sybil. She's totally into it. Just wanted to make sure my dementia hasn't kicked in early. You can forget all about old Stoneface. Peepers is the only man you need now. Oh, Peepers. Um. Oh, lady, you making me all tingly in my... Hey, Peepers. What? You may have Sybil fooled, but we can see what you truly are. Evil will reign. You must not disturb the vessel. Noch. Noch irgendwas? Sybil, pay attention. What? Huh? Snap out of it, Sybil. It's... It's Peepers! I know it is, but I've just never seen him this way before. Oh, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of me, baby. Show some dignity, Sybil. But he's just... dreamy. It's like for the first time, I'm seeing him for who he really is. What about your wedding? Don't forget about Abe. Abe who? Oh, Lincoln. Right. I haven't forgotten. I've just... I'm still single tonight, all right? Huh. What happened to the monster? Oh, is he gone? I wasn't paying attention. Said something about Abe's bachelor party. Try to stay chaste, Sybil. Mind your own business. Huh. Okay, wie kriegen wir das denn kaputt? Kriegen wir euch denn auseinander? Beziehungsweise das Hüppel ja ähm, mehr oder weniger normal. Sam, geh da bitte mal rüber. Danke. Oh. How you feeling, Timmy? Oh, I feel like shit on a s Good. What are you doing here? Mr. Maintron's looking after me until Daddy gets back from his party. We're playing song lyric trivia. 
Mr. Maintrom's almost as good as me. The boy cheats. Ja, das kann ich mir vorstellen. What are you doing here? Mr. Maintrom. Are you completely cured now? The doctors say I'm all better, but I've still got my f***ed up condition. Are you old enough to write, Timmy? Oh, f yeah. I've been in the hospital so much that Daddy's been homeschooling me. So far, I've learned to write ampersands, asterisks, number signs, and exclamation points. Das sieht doch schon mal gut aus. Glad to be back from hell. Oh yeah, I'm just disappointed the f***ing soda pop has never showed up at the hospital. It was my dying wish to see him, cause I'm their biggest fan ever. No, Timmy, that's wrong. Max is right. The poppers are evil, wicked creatures. And besides, I'm their biggest fan ever. <clears throat> Ask me anything about them. Okay. How old is Spex? He's officially nine years old because he was born on a leap day. Sorry, Mr. Max, but I'm just too f***ing good. Max is the king of Popper's trivia. Do your f***ing worst. Okay. In episode 205, The Joy of Specs, what was the name of Wizard's urologist? Is that a trick question? Because in that episode, Wizard saw a gastroenterologist. Dr. Thundercolin. You lose again. Hmm. Max is the king of Popper's trivia. Do your f***ing worst. Sonst noch? Ah, yeah. What's Peeper's real name? Easy. Everybody knows his name is What was that? I said his name is Sorry, Mr. Max, but I'm just too good. Hmm. Max is the king of Popper's trivia. Do your worst. How many times has Wizard been married? Four times. Gotcha! It's... Let me finish. Four times total, but one was annulled, and another was declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. You lose again! See you later, Timmy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's in order. Hmm. Können wir in der Hölle jetzt irgendwas rausfinden? Ist der Name irgendwas von den von den zensierten Wörtern, die Dings der Rainer Segen da unten hat? Okay. It's a list of swear words. And okay, das bringt schon mal nix. Ah, wir haben aber hier noch eine List. Max, oh, mit immer aus. Hm, hmm, I seem to be completely naked. Oh dear. Hope I don't have to bend over provocatively to. That's enough, Max. So, dann fragen wir gerade noch mal nach dem Namen. Das sollte jetzt ja ein wenig Hinweise geben. So, Jürgen, mit dir möchte niemand mehr reden. Sollte der Rest aber eigentlich auch nicht äh, zensiert sein. Schätze ich mal. Dann komm. Nö. Max ist der King of Popper's Trivia. Bring it up! Ah, jetzt auch noch. Okay. <lacht> Dann halt nicht. What's Peeper's real name? Easy! It's Dick Peacock. 
Ah. You lose again. See you later, Timmy. Have a flippin' great day. Tja, dann macht er gar keinen Tourett mehr. So, bringt das was? Wir jetzt mit seinem richtigen Namen anreden oder so? Ja, du? You just let people know how you want it, baby. Say my name. Say my name. Hey, Dick Peacock. What? What? You ruined everything. What have you done to his eyes? You still want to make out? Oh, hell no. <laughs> well, we've saved Sybil from a lifetime of regret. And given ourselves a blackmail opportunity to secure our financial future. Das klingt doch schon mal nicht schlecht. Okay, einen haben wir. Zwei müssen noch erledigt werden. Ja, doch relativ lange jetzt hier. Na gut, dafür waren die anderen beiden etwas kürzer. Also die anderen drei Folgen. Aber ja, das ist so, ja, zwischen anderthalb und zwei Stunden plus minus pro Episode. We use only the freshest ingredients in our popper's own forbidden fruit of knowledge cider. One sip, and for the first time, you know the difference between good and evil. I don't know. I've heard some bad things. Ah, our competitors are just afraid that if you start selling this, you'll become too successful. I don't need to tell you the advantages of an exclusive beverage distribution deal, seeing as how you're such a savvy businesswoman. <laughs> hmm. Weiß ja nicht. What's up, Stinky? Oh, good. It's Virgil and Ulysses. Actually, it's... Maybe you two can give me some advice. Mr. Wizard's offer sounds very tempting. Now, it all comes down to your per-bottle cut. Don't accept anything less than 10% for the first year with quarterly renegotiations. Done. Shut up, Max. Hmm, I'm still not sure. Oh. Give it up, Wizard. She don't want what you're selling. Mind your own business. Stinky is beautiful and intelligent enough to make her own decisions. Aww. Welcome back from hell, Stinky. Oh, I'm back from hell, am I? And here I was, thinking that she was still here, acting like she owns the place. Must have just been my imagination. You're alive and back from hell, making awful food again. What's the problem? She's the problem! Of course, I don't have to explain the benefits of exclusive distribution channels to someone with your experience. Look at him, sucking up to her when he should be sucking up to me. Making the moves on an attractive woman instead of a grizzled old man. Weird! Go ahead and laugh while she scuttles my life's work. What is it with you and girl Stinky anyway? Is she really your granddaughter? More or less. She was my protege. My most promising student. I taught her everything I know about the culinary dark arts. And this is how she thanks me! The hubris! Okay. I don't know. Girl Stinky's been doing a pretty good job of making the restaurant almost as awful as you used to. Yeah, and she does great things with trichinosis. So she's tricked you onto her side too. If everybody could see her for what she really is, then things would be different. Really bad things will happen if you take that deal with Wizard. Don't tell me. Apparently she's the one in charge here. She doesn't appreciate our advice for some reason. Bah! She never did have my business sense. One slick sales pitch and she folds like an origami crane. Come on, Stinky. You've got to get over your grudge and convince her not to take that deal. Eh, she won't listen to anyone until... Hmm... I know what'll do it. Find her baby book and bring it to me. Remind her where she came from. That'll knock her down a peg or two. Stay strong, Stinky. Whee! Okay, wir haben doch hier das eine Buch auf jeden Fall. Ja, Baby Book. Hey, Grandpa Stinky. We found Stinky's Baby Book. 
Good, good. Quick, read page 33. Oh, take the things, put a cover on it. Don't put it in here. Out loud, you cretin. Oh, uh, let's see. Fish sticks, tar, coffee, ice cream. What kind of baby book is this anyway? It's a cookbook! The name of the recipe. Read the name. The Cake of the Damned. Oh. Huh? What? what? <laughs> That'll teach her. Well, maybe you, good sir, would like to hear more about the delicious forbidden fruit of knowledge cider. Oh, no. What have I done? <laughs> Can we admit him? Stinky's the last person I would have figured was secretly a cake. <lacht> Sieht aber ganz lecker aus. Naja, dann, äh. Hm. Schauen wir mal. Ich glaube, wir müssen echt noch eine Folge dranhängen, so wie das aussieht. Ähm, von daher vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, ihr habt Spaß. Seid beim nächsten Mal wieder mit dabei. Bis dahin, macht's gut und ciao, ciao.